Okay, we're good to go. Uh, so, hopefully, the internet won't go out again. Uh, but uh, I want to play Portal 2. I still have not done the co-op campaign. Something I have found out, and I may end up doing, depending on if uh, the person I'd like to do this with wants to do it, uh, I'll be contacting them later, uh, is Portal 2, apparently, at some point last year, was given the ability to do the co-op through the stream share. Uh, that means I can share with someone who doesn't own the game, and they'll be able to play it. For now, we're just going to play the single-player game. New game. Start with Chapter 1, obviously. Take longer to load than I thought it would. <laughs> it makes sense. There's actually a lot it has to load. been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Nope. I don't know how to look up, I'm just choosing not to. Curious if it'll yell at me. No, apparently not. Alright, fine. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Now, please return to your bed. Suspension for nine 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 could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... Fine. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Ah, uh, Wheatley. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most
most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Just a reminder, okay, look, Shell is a volunteer. You, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical, hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time, Mike. This really is a great sequence. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive Good luck. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can right, continue. No the These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two, one. We've got a nice view of the new boots. So, as I was saying earlier, show is a voluntary mute. Uh, well, uh, she can talk, probably not well at this point, as she has been for a long time. She can talk. Uh, she chooses not to, so her jumping, she was screwed with, really. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing will cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> It's just to uh, spin around. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, 
and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Number one. Right. I need to stop doing that. Got used to the first one. I'll be right back. It's absolutely a scam call. I'm sure there's something I can change. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Look all those cubes and turret. is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening. All right. <laughs> Forgot about you. Hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption I'll see you later, Wheatley. Alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. Assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See oh, you in an hour. There's part of it. If you're not dead. Right, right hand drawings. This should work. All right, there we go. Grabbing is presumably part of the reason we're back here. Emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Which is why they are murderous. Good. 
because they only okay. have one copy. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Double checking that my mouse cursor was not showing up on there. It was not. <laughs> This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. I would never be playing about jazz. Enjoying the smooth jazz. Uh, probably want to do this and this. I need to stop doing that. Place you down there. It's got to be another. Sure enough. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Ah, uh, there you are. I forgot about that. Uh, introduction to the breaking stuff. can go through there, I'm not going to. So I want to take a look. Unreason. Nope, can't pick that up. And this is not, oh actually I guess you can go to there. I actually really like the nature noises. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Of course, right now, most of this is unsheltered. Right. Right. Uh... I thought. Uh, this press this. That gives me a cube, which 
allows me to do that. There we go. See, uh, the muscle member from one is actually causing me problems in this one now. Also, I'm not exactly sure what that even did. That did the stairs. Got it. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Which of course is part of the problem. <laughs> Also, the voltage is important for later. Why am I not... This next test that applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. That's what's happening. I somehow managed to uh, lose my finger off the keys. Uh, can I still? I can. Okay. I had to check. Yep, that's what I thought. That's not what I can actually do that with. All right. Uh, so I have to assume. Yep, there's a wall. I can do that. Portals while holding you, can I? If I do it this way, so I line myself up. Good, that worked. So if you stuck. are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome and remember. Testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I don't like you. Right. Orange pearl there, which means I probably want to do that. Okay, got you. Then means where do I want to launch? So I want to launch somewhere. So I don't think this will work. I put it down, apparently I did not. Yeah, too high. Alright, uh, let's see. That one. 
launch way too far. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, got it. So I put it there. I should be able to launch and end up on this platform. Assuming I have not done anything stupid. Well, it did technically work. All right. attention. Oh, there we go. Overthinking things as usual. And that should actually launch me right there. Perfect. Okay, maybe a change you a bit to the right. That should have worked. Go a little bit higher. There we Can't go. Work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I still want to know exactly how long this takes place after the first game. I can't remember if it says or not. Uh. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. But not actually raise those concerns. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop be a quiet. portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. Technically, I caught him. I just dropped him. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? I can do this all day. I won't, but I can. I can't, I can't do it if you want. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open while your back was turned. And off Actually, I turned before Look at this. did it, so. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um... Just follow the rail, actually. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. 
destroyed the failed turrets. Well, failed. I have to at least get to the second part of the gun. bring you up to speed on something right now in order to escape we're gonna have to go through her chamber and she will probably kill us if if she's um awake if you want to just call it quits and we could just sit here forever that's an option option a sit here do nothing option I mean, b go through there i beat her and already she's alive, so she'll almost certainly kill us Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there she, She's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go There she is Hi, Gladys. What a nasty piece of work. She was honestly like a proper maniac Do you know who ended up uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this a human. I know I know I wouldn't have believed either Apparently this human escaped yeah. and uh, nobody's seen him since then there was a sort of long chunk of time where Her, um, please. absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. I actually don't remember what to do at this point. Oh, well, there's the incinerator. So probably supposed to go this way. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This actually... Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. I forgot I had the option to throw him. I should have thrown him. Ah! I just... Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. You're not right. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. This is how she reactivates right, the armor, right? That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. You're useless. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, Hi. Uh, Remember there's, me. A, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A A A A A. Um. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the jar pen? It's not right. Got me. Power up. Complete. I don't. Okay. 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 Listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. Do nothing. Oh, it's you. Hi. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? No, you're uh, still alive. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Yeah, you want me in the incinerator. Because I was the cake. Hey, 
Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. I said my main goal is to get the dual portal device. The dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. I'll still do that. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Uh, since when was that a requirement? Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. Uh -huh, After all, sure. we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Oh, there. Got it. I guess I keep being stuck on. Yes, I can. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, chamber nineteen. Sure enough. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. I still hope they do a Portal 3. There's a decent chance they will, it's just a when. I mean, Half-Life technically got a third game. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Eh. It's just this. That's not the poison, right? Okay, got it. That's orange up there. Let's put blue here. Got it. All right. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. I've got those more toxins. yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I really 
do like these walls. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. All right, I actually have to jump over this now. All right, where is it? Back here? Back here. That works. And of course, it's just one of these. And it looks like you need to go here. I need something else. Uh, let's see. Will this work? That works. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. I love Vada so much. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Alright, enough of the adoption thing, GLaDOS. It's not, it's not actually an issue. The question is, how do I do that? Maybe... Nope, that doesn't work. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Yeah, that works. Which means... That's what I need. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, 
I said before, the first portal, one of the great things about this game is that it's always giving you new mechanics to learn. It doesn't do it in such a way that, oh, I don't know how to do that. It does it in such a way that you, you want to know how to do it and you figure out. Not enough games do that. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Well, that's destroying you. Uh, let's see. Also, you've learned with the cameras. <laughs> Answer the question I had. Okay, got it. I work with this. here. Make that orange. That works. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. You can stop with the fat shaming. Shells even actually fat. Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plane. Ooh, yay! Is part My of favorite part. Initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. 
We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. It actually does make sense, which is, a, which is weird to say. <laughs> Because technically, what that's what plants do. Is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go oh, to I a wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. So good. Yeah, okay, that worked. Uh, next, what do you do? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling, and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm well, I sorry, have that you didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. The drop box I'm pretty sure I should have had already. The achievement's not saved for me for some reason? It's not like I haven't beaten this game. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. You don't know that I wasn't start actually startled, so... Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Of course, it's the companion cube. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. No, it would be really nice if we could actually do something. Alright, looks like I want 
that one. And make sure I don't hit that laser rod there. Whee! I really do love that. And now... Okay, I see. Still, easy enough to work with. There we go. Actually, that doesn't quite work, does it? I make things more complicated than I need to. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I don't think I could if I wanted to. I can try to take it with me, but I don't think there's actually a way to do it. So I can't actually reach it. And that's a non-portable floor. Adjusting here. Oof. All right, so we got past the. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own work. recognizance. I'll be right back. Not quite. Okay. that works. It's worth a shot. block over there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess let's try getting back over there first. This way, I can still use my portals. I 
Actually, I won't even need to use these portals. Portal's really just got that block over to the other side of the Emancipation Bureau. Chapter 3 already? Wow. Okay. Because to be fair, this is really just the introduction chapters. still holds up really, really well. So it looks like I want to do that. Hey, hey, it's me! I'm okay! Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. I was just lying there. You thought I was... Mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look yep, great, thanks. by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Word, right? Couldn't believe it either. The... You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Probably here first. So, watch from here. Not a portable wall. Okay. Faith plate. And now redirect this. No, if I wasn't being stupid. Uh, let's see. Where do you need to go? Should have worked. Uh, okay, so not quite where you need to be. Now, what did that do? They gave me the steps, which is not quite what I need yet. Huh. Oh, no, I got it. All right.
this should work. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle. So it's what about blue. here? And then that's an easy aim. Alright, it's a little bit more to the left. There we go. The looks not as fun here because it's not as well hidden. Like, obviously, it wasn't well hidden on my screen. Enjoy anyway, this but... next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday, I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Alright, this room. Uh, so, there's another direct. Directional laser. Got a cube over there. Aerial faith plate. Not faith plate first. I presumably need to block that somehow. Because you are powering this. Definitely gonna need to do that. Alright, uh, let's see. This may work. Not quite. that. Still the issue of that one. But for now... I should hit these ones over here. Yep, there we go. Oh good, it's not. 
not fall. Okay, I was afraid of that. That was gonna fall, but it did not. I enjoy this, and I enjoy this a lot. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans, but with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, I it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. This is actually came earlier than I thought it did. And I have to... I'm walking on sunshine. something somewhere. Okay, there's a button over there. Got it. I do not want to be there right now. Alright, uh, so if I put it about here, that works. Button, but I still don't have what I need to put on the button. So that's over there. Got it. what happens. That ended up in water. But it seems to be permanently doing that now, so that may actually be a good thing. I can't remember what to do on this one. Uh, 
uh, this should directly work. It did. Do that. Do that. Got it. still get me to where I need to be. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. I guess I could've just gone through that portal, Do you huh? know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you I... sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. I was stressed. I could just walk through that portal and come out this side, but that's not as fun. <laughs> also, I believe it may not be that chamber, there's a chamber with those light paths where I do believe Gladys does sing I'm walking on sunshine. I think it's a random thing. I don't think it's a guarantee you can be here, but Good it definitely news. exists because I heard I it. figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No. Don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. What's it a touch? What's it a touch? What's it a touch? Touch, 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 touch. Hey, hey, up here. I found some uh, bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I, ah! Bird! 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 There's something we'll be seeing a bunch of. Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went yeah, so there's an idiot over there. Frame. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Yeah, so there's an idiot back there. What'd that do? Drop that, got it. Okay. Huh. That's... Oh, that's how I do it. Side like an idiot. I did everything correct, but I'm a moron. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again without being stupid.
I'm actually surprised that that's where it's saved. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. I love the light pass. It's... They're not quite as fun as the aerial fade plates for me, because I, I like the uh, momentum stuff, but I do like them. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Right, another fat joke, okay. trying to uh still trying to pick him up with the with the uh, middle mouse button because that's how it was in the first game but that doesn't work in this one all right well you should just do this no way that's it be a bit more difficult. Should be able to make this 
this work. Not placement. All right. to a point. Work. Target cancel. Not the best way of doing it, but it worked. Ways. I know I would have done that cleaner. I just suck. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Probably need to put that put it through that through the, those, right? That does one. I think it's this simple. Nope, not quite. Uh, let's see. <sighs> I had the right idea for sure. Alright, first off, let's do this. Uh, let's see. idea uh, for sure I 
Gosh, that should have worked. Out of the way. No. Hmm. Definitely feel like that should have worked. You know how I'm going to live forever. There You're we go. going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Huh. Never noticed it closing up behind me before. Makes sense, just never noticed it. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. All right, how does this one work? I assume... Deep dying. So the only reason they're not killing me is... is the light there. Uh, which means I probably want to do something like this. So they can't see me through that. You come over here. And I can't pick you. Nope. All right. Um. That worked. Like I, I'm legitimately that I actually did anything. Uh. This one's there, but I don't think they're a threat yet. No, that's not quite it. Um, hmm. 
I do not remember this one. that door. Uh, I had an idea whether or not it'll work. Nope. Uh, let's see. We cannot remember what to do. Can't imagine this, but it might be. Okay, so it was that. Alright, that works to a point. Gotta be very careful here. Orange one there. Activated. This works. Are you still Again, sure is a clear way of doing that, but it worked. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Ah, you're such a dick. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Okay, there's a laser there. Yep. Nicely, okay. Okay, so I want to put you about here, probably. Sorry, 
I want to walk. Yeah, actually, that should work almost perfectly. I'll find out. Not quite, unfortunately. Actually, shoot me through here, right? No. Alright, let's see if this will work. I can't go through bullets. Their bullets can't go through walls, but the laser can because it's thin enough. Alright, that works. So far, the, my only death's been pure stupidity. was not expecting that. Uh, <laughs> it says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Okay, so Norotoxin Chamber. Ooh. More sunlight bridges. And you do... You just open that door immediately. Okay. So... Looks logical. Let's do this. down here. And at this point, I'm actually not sure exactly. I have an idea. Okay. Hopefully this works. about. Yep. That just takes me to one of the Ratman dens. The bell invites, hear the turret for its now that summons to heaven or to hell. Man, that's not actually helpful. Alright, uh, let's see. I got to the rat den, which is something. Which is, might actually be exactly what I need. Um. Nope, no it isn't. Hmm. 
because that doesn't actually help. It's not that, though. I can. If that is a portable wall, and it does not appear to be. Uh. is probably what's lifting that up. side of this. Yep, no, that's all uh, unusable. About in here. Nothing used in there. I have done this before, that's the annoying part. I need to check something. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Is right. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. There it is. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. No, it's actually me oversimplifying things, which is a rarity. You should make things too complicated. This is a perfect time to stop. 
So uh, thank us for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time. Remember to be. Bye, guys.